All right, if you got one of these coffee mugs, you might have noticed that uh, it's a little difficult to get the lid to come apart, you know, for cleaning. There's a couple of parts that come off easy, but there's a couple of parts that are a little more work. So, let's get this out of the way. Now, the first thing you do is give this piece, just push it in a tiny bit and give it a twist, about 90 degrees, and it should come off nice and easy. It's got a little silicone ring that comes off nice and easy. There you go. That's easy to clean. This just falls away. Again, easy to clean. There's a ring here that comes off. And then you could stop here, except there is a way for fluids to get up inside of this bit and get trapped. And if you're going to clean the thing properly, you have to take this part of it apart. When you're taking it apart, you have to just give the thing a firm push and you have to be careful. You can't just put it in the palm of your hand because this little hook here, that is for hanging the tea bag on. Not what I use this cup for, but you don't want to snap that off. So you use this piece, which fits neatly around that. And now you just give it a good firm push. Now, this top section comes out, so you'll notice the rotating part that says open and closed. Here's that center plunger bit, and it's got two more silicon rings on it, and then a spring. I'll leave that where it is, but these two rings come off easy. I can just do it with my fingernail. So that one comes off. This one you want to be a little more careful with, because it's pretty thin, but pick at it hard enough or just use something like a little metal hook or even a uh, jackknife you can get that to come off now I'm just gonna reverse the order here once I get that thing pushed back into its place we're gonna push this down and I want to find where the open position is so when this spring is up high it's pulling this panel flat against this silicone ring here and that's when it's closed. When it's in its downmost position, that's when it's open. So find where that is by spinning this until you feel it click and drop down. Then, without rotating it, I'm just going to sit it. Oh, I can't sit it there. We're still lined up, so we're good. Um, I'm going to fit this thing in. So this is the open position. So I'm going to rotate it until it says open. And there's a pair of bumps in here that are lined up in this sort of way. If you can see that. I'm going to line that up with the lower groove. By lower, I mean lower when it's in this orientation. So here it's actually the taller groove. So I'm going to get that. So that line is vertical, like straight away from me. And then I'm going to get that so it's straight away from me. And then if I flip it over, I should be able to just snap that down just like that. It takes a good firm push to get this thing to snap down. Boom! Uh, it's not perfectly lined up. As you can see the word open is just a little off so if I want that to be absolutely perfect get out my little tool pop this thing open again and then let's this ring I'm just going to rotate the ring slightly without rotating the rest of it that should do it. There we go. There we go. So that's how this thing actuates. Yeah, it's not perfect, but pretty darn good. So now we just have to put the final bits on. This ring goes around. This bit goes smooth side against the lid. And the final piece, the 
this center bit that holds the plunger in place. Find where it goes on, push and give it a 90 degree turn. Boop, just like that. So that's closed. And we turn it a bit. That's open. There you go. You're all set.